Okay guys, this video is for those of you that just got a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, you've decided to make the switch to Resolve, you've heard all about the wonders of B-RAW, and now you're wondering, how the heck do I access this raw data in Resolve? Well, let's keep this one quick and simple, and let's dive right in. Quick tips! All right guys, so we're in Resolve 16 and we just imported some footage into our media pool. This was shot on our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and as you can see, its color needs some TLC. The three main things that I'll adjust in the raw color tab, if my initial camera settings were a little off, are color temperature, tint, and ISO. As a reminder, the raw tab is not meant for creating an aesthetic grade or stylized look, but instead should be used to neutralize the shot and correct levels. So to make these adjustments, simply go to the Decode Using drop-down menu and select the Clip tab. Here you can adjust your color temperature, tint, exposure, ISO, and your gamma controls like saturation and contrast. Now one thing to note about adjusting ISO in your RAW settings is that the Blackmagic has a dual native ISO, meaning if you set your ISO anywhere from 100 to 1000, then you've locked yourself into the parameters of that signal path. On the other side of the spectrum, if you set your ISO to 1250 or above, you can only adjust your exposure from 1250 to 6400. If you happen to overexpose your image at 1250, then you'll unfortunately not have a ton of latitude to bring your ISO down to try and recover that information. So if you're shooting in a darker environment, make sure you're not shooting at a higher ISO on the lower side of the signal path. If you can't expose for 400 ISO or lower, then you may want to switch to a higher ISO like 1250 to unlock that cleaner noise floor giving you more shadow detail and less noise. Although something else to note, if you're shooting in a bright environment, you'll actually obtain more detail in the highlights if you shoot at a higher ISO that's below 1250 than if you're shooting at a lower ISO like 100. Keep these things in mind when exposing your image because it may limit your ability to tweak your raw data in post. I hope this information was helpful and got you briefly acquainted with Resolve and its camera raw tab. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any additional questions. I'm Zach with Threefold, and thanks for watching.